Hey, you got a sec? Hey, it's Christian. It is Monday and I'm super excited because today is the start of the rollout of the new calendar. That's right. I said I was going to be bringing you some changes to the weekly layout. The main transition was going to be happening in September, but because next week is the start of the plank challenge it actually starts on Sunday, which I'll be posting every day. Uh, I wanted to roll this out this week. So here's what you can expect on a regular basis. On Mondays, we're going to have cardio with a focus on agility. Tuesdays are going to be muscle, body weight, muscle workouts. Wednesdays are going to be the calm day. That's going to be things like stretching and yoga. Thursday, leg day. Who doesn't love leg day? And on Friday, it's going to be working the core. So look forward to that as a regular weekly routine and add these things together. And what I'm going to do is suggest it become a rolling workout. So you take Monday and then you add Tuesday. You do Monday and Tuesday together. And, but then when it comes around to the next Monday, you take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and add Monday to it. So you got five workouts that you can do. You can add these things together. They're one minute each. That's the whole point of this thing is to take one minute. Here's today's workout. Two very simple cardio moves. The first is front to back lunges. Now, this doesn't seem like a big cardio move at first, but guaranteed you do 30 seconds per side. That's 30 seconds right leg forward, right leg back, and then 30 seconds left leg forward, left leg back. You will get your heart rate pumping. This is a good one to start with because it's not too bad and you don't really need to warm up for it. What you want to do is make sure that you are lifting your knee high when you're stepping forward. You're going to place it down so that you're not too far forward. You want your knees to be at about a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to do the big power lifts backwards again, lifting your knee high and then placing your foot back down behind you. Now the second move is known by a couple of names, either high steps, fence hops, or even scissor kicks. Now what I've done is I've placed out three markers, roughly one step apart. And you're going to start at one end. The first variety is called a hop over. And all you're doing is you're high stepping your knees up and over and in between each of the markers. So pretend the markers are things that you have to step over and you want to get those knees up high and place your foot down. And as you get to the other end, hold the inside leg up for that brief moment before reversing and going back the other direction. The second variety is like a scissor kick where you're going to keep your legs more straight or kick them out in front. And you might find leaning back is a little bit easier with this version. I find that both of these are great for the hip flexors. So one minute is all you need to get your sweat going. You can alternate these. Do one minute of the front to back lunges. That's 30 seconds each side. Do one minute of the hop overs. Go and do another minute of the front to back lunges and one more minute of the hop overs. This is a four minute cardio burn and sometimes that's all you need but we'll check in tomorrow when I bring you the muscle moves. That's right, we're gonna do some body weight strength. We'll see you tomorrow, smile and sweat. Yeah.